So at Yelp, Jeremy, how, how, um, how big a role does data play? Because I don't think people think of it as a data collection company as much as a place where you go and e express something in a, in a much more um, sentimental way. Data is huge. I mean, if you think about what, what are we doing every day, well, we're providing a search service. And so once you start providing a search service, you're in the realm of, of Google. Um, and so you're analyzing all sorts of signals to try and figure out, OK, at this given spot, I've got a user, their GPS location, this is the query they typed in. This is all the reviews that I have uh, on all of these local businesses. I need to think about and, and rank those in an intelligent way. I need to then take the data that I'm getting from users as they're clicking on these results and then factor that back into future results mm. so that I get better and better. Or you know, things like somebody spelled something wrong and being able to recognize you know, what is the appropriate spelling? What are they going for? Or they type in you know, a generic word like maybe source, but that could actually be the name of a restaurant. Mm -hmm. How do you figure that out? And so all of that stuff comes out of collecting lots of data, mining it for signal, and then feeding that back into your application. But there's also something you're getting too, um, I, would, I would guess, and you'll tell me if I'm wrong, that's the non-data signal too, where it's just the temperament and the sort of the creativity of people who are writing these reviews. Does that in any way kind of guide where you decide to go or decisions you all make about um, how you want to uh, create an interaction? I mean, I think the creativity that people convey through the reviews is just one of the unique aspects of Yelp. I think it's, it's one of those softer things uh, that, that makes Yelp truly distinctive mm -hmm. and is the reason why you know, people, when they think about local reviews or reviews of restaurants, it has this strong image in their head. Because we've all read like a really crazy narrative or right. there's been a, a movie dialogue recreation about a particular restaurant yeah, or yeah, a haiku sure or, or something like right, that. Right, right. Um, and, and so I think that stands out and, and differentiates what you find on Yelp uh, in a way that none of the other sites that have tried to collect reviews uh, has been able to achieve. I'll, um, at this point, I'll actually, I'm gonna jump ahead to, um, to my favorite one because, because you brought it up that there's some really great ones out there. The, the thing about this is fun is that, you know, it's fine dining, it's um, regular restaurants, it's dry cleaners, it's a traffic signal in Hawaii that someone reviewed as a deplorable four-way, so, you know, dis. Um, and, and, and it's even prisons at this point. People yeah. are in prisons. So here's my favorite prison. It's actual one. prisoners, apparently. <laughs> so, sometimes, yeah, or friends of it. Like this guy, I think, had a friend. He said, here's the review. I had a friend who went to San Quentin for selling mushrooms when he was 18. He just graduated high school, and the judge made an example of him. Apparently, it's not just for murderers. He said it wasn't unlike the dorms at UCSC. He's since completed an econ degree and works in upper management. You'd never know he was an ex-con. 